Katrina Elizabeth DiCamillo, better known to us as Kate DiCamillo, was born on March 25, 1964, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Adolph, an orthodontist, and Betty DiCamillo, a teacher. As a young child, Kate suffered from chronic pneumonia, so at age five, she, along with her mother and brother Kurt, moved to Claremont, Florida. Her mother thought if she was in a warmer climate, it would help Kate's pneumonia. Her father stayed behind to sell his orthodontic practice and was to join them in Florida eventually. He never rejoined his family. Since Kate was often sick, her imagination became her friend and this would later influence her work. She would watch people and observe their behaviors, which helped her understand emotions better. She would listen to her mother tell stories and she read many books. A few authors that inspired her to become a writer were Joan Aiken, Beverly Cleary, Christopher Paul Curtis, and Katherine Patterson. In 1987, Kate graduated from the University of Florida with a Bachelor of Arts in English. She is quoted as saying, that means I had a lot of formal training in reading. After finishing college, Kate relocated to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where she currently resides. She started working as a children's book distributor. She had a desire to become a writer, but it would be many years before she began to write. Most of Kate's novels share a common theme, love. All of her stories are written about animals. She mainly writes in the fantasy genre. Her books are written in a language that is easy to understand. Most of her characters have to overcome an obstacle. Her novels can be enjoyed by everyone, but are written for grades three to seven. She has a book series that was written for kinder to second graders. She is quoted as saying, everything I write comes from my childhood in one way or another. I am forever drawing on the sense of mystery and wonder and possibility that pervaded that time of my life. She persevered through hundreds of rejections before her first book, Because of When Dixie, was published in 2000. This book was not illustrated, but it was made into a movie. It tells a story of a young girl, India Opal Gulani, who was abandoned by her mother and relocated with her father to Florida. She then finds a dog in the supermarket. India and the dog both discover the true meaning of love, acceptance, and loyalty. Kate's inspiration for this book came after being homesick for Florida. Because of Win Dixie is a Newbery Honor Book and was given the Book Sense of the Year Award for Children's Literature in 2001. This award is given in recognition of a new era in book selling. In 2002, she also received the Dorothy Canfield Fisher Children's Book Award. This award is named after the Vermont author Dorothy Canfield Fisher and is given in Vermont to a new American children's book and is voted on by Vermont school children. Kate's second book is The Tiger Rising. This book was published in 2001. It is the story of a young boy who relocates to a motel in Florida after he loses his mother. Through his adventures, the boy learns to love and trust again. This book is a National Book Finalist, which is an award given to writers by writers. Kate's third book, The Tale of Despero, was published in 2003. It was also made into a movie. This is the story of three characters that embark on a journey down a horrible dungeon, up a glittering castle, and into each other's lives. The Tale of Despero is the winner of the Newbery Medal in 2004. This medal is given to the author of the most distinguished contribution to American literature for children. She also won the Dorothy Canfield Fisher Children's Book Award in 2005. Kate's fourth novel, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, was published in 2006. This story is about a rabbit made out of china who was very pleased with himself. 
He was owned by a girl who treated him with the utmost care and adored him completely. Then he got lost in the ocean. He goes from place to place and person to person to find that even a heart of the most breakable kind can learn to love, to lose, and to love again. DiCamillo won the Boston Globe Hornbook Award for fiction. This is a prestigious honor in the field of children's and adult literature. Kate's fifth novel is The Magician's Elephant, which was published in 2009. On a fortune teller's word, an orphan boy sets out to find some answers with an elephant. This book's themes are hope and belonging and desire and compassion. In 2001 and 2008, Kate DiCamillo wrote two picture books. Great Joy is the story of a girl who finds the perfect words to share just in time for the Christmas pageant. And Louise, The Adventures of a Chicken is the story of a chicken who longed for adventure, so she left her home to venture out into the world. Currently, Kate has two chapter book series. The first was started in 2005. Mercy Watson is the stories of a pig and her adventures. Mercy Watson Goes for a Ride won the 2006 Theodore Giesel Honor Book Award. In the fall of 2010, DiCamillo released her Bink and Golly book series. This series is about the lives of dissimilar friends that celebrate the ups and downs of their daily adventures. This series won the 2011 Theodore Giesel Award. This award is named for the infamous Dr. Seuss and is given annually to the authors and illustrators of the most distinguished American book for beginning readers published in English in the United States during the preceding year. In 2007, Kate also won the Anne V. Zero Award for Young Readers Literature, which is given by the Tulsa Library Trust. It recognizes authors that have made a significant contribution to the field of literature for children and young adults. She describes herself as short and loud and as someone that hates to cook but loves to eat. Kate DiCamillo continues to reside in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and works full-time at a used bookstore. She never married and does not have any pets or children. Her brother, Kurt, has three children that she treats like her own. She considers herself to be enormously lucky because she gets to tell stories for a living. Kate is quoted as saying, It distresses me that parents insist that their children read or make them read. The best way for children to treasure reading is to see the adults in their lives reading for their own pleasure. And she also said, reading should not be presented to children as a chore, a duty. It should be offered as a gift. 